In the video for today, I'm going to speak to you about whether or not you could remotely switch on your phone if it is lost or stolen, or even if the battery is dead. Yes, you heard me correct. If the battery is dead, could we remotely switch on our phones? That is a question that is coming around. So I'm going to answer these type of questions in the video for today. Hello, my friend. My name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to Channel Signal Tech. And how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. So the first thing is, could we switch on our phones remotely if it is lost or stolen? So see, these days we have a lot of tracking applications for Android devices. Google Find My Device could actually help you to, you know, get the last location of the phone. You could maybe get there and try to get your phone if it is there. Or if you have an Apple device, you could use find my application to track your Apple device, even if it is switched off. It's a very interesting feature that iPhones have. But just think about this. If you get to the location that is directed by these applications for the last location of your lost or stolen phone and your phone is not there, then the next thing you do is try calling your number and you see that it is switched off. And then you start thinking, could we track or switch on our phones even if it is switched off? Is there a technology like that or is there some kind of an application that could be hidden in advance and then we could, you know, remotely switch on our phones? The simple answer is no, you cannot do that. Until and unless we have a technology through which a device can actually track your phone, get your phone and then switch on your phone, it's only then this is possible. So we're looking at like 100 years from now at least, I think. So do not waste your time. I suggest you get to the local police station, file in an FIR, get a copy of that FIR, get a copy of that FIR, keep it for yourself so that in the future, if your phone is found and if it was misused, you are not pulled up for any kind of a illegal activity. The second thing is you could also try Google Find My Device. You could just uh, get hold of a laptop or a phone having a working internet connection, go to Find My Device and log in with the same email address which was on your phone, okay? So once you do that, going to see the last location for your phone. So, so you could take it from there. The second thing is if you are in India, you could go ahead and block your IMA number by using services from a department known as CEIR. Now this is a specific department in India that caters to lost or stolen mobile phones. And if you see here, there are over 1.4 million phones blocked and uh, over 700,000 phones found. So this is a department in India that actually works for us. So if you are in India, you're having an Indian phone, you could just get onto the website, just uh, click on CEIR services, click on block stolen or lost mobile phone, fill up this form, upload a copy of your FIR out here, get a request ID, and uh, keep that request ID safe so that you could keep track of your lost or stolen phone. If these guys find your phone, you're going to get a call. You're going to be notified about it. You get your phone back and you could unblock your found mobile phone using the same request ID. So that's it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give my video a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.